Yo, what's up, Freeze Army, and welcome to the Silent Ninja of Cytus Inversus, the Hokkaido mission. My name is Mr. Freeze2244. We now have our disposable scrambler stored at the mountain path, uh, along with our ninja outfit. So this is the ninja location. So this is where you're going to grab your disposable scrambler, and we unlocked that in Colorado. So if you haven't unlocked that yet, check out the uh, more Colorado challenges. It's all, they're all there. They will quite easily get you this uh, scrambler to unlock. So from the start point, we're going to head down the mountain, and then circle around uh, around the building over here. Crouch if you slightly get uh, steam there, and then we're going to make our way into the room on our right. We can run all the way down here, they can't hear your footsteps, and uh, we use the scrambler for the first one. You're only allowed three, but we're going to use all three of them in this, uh, in this uh, game so far. So once we come into this area, we're going to crouch run through this section, and all the way around this uh, morgue area again circling around to the right and then heading uh, taking the stairs all the way down and then through the door and then we're going to use the last door on the right so we're going to use the scrambler again so that's the second time we used it but one more left and we're going to grab this uh, this remote control on the bed right here now we're going to retrace our steps and head back into the morgue where the uh, Kill Bill reference is. So we're just going to retrace our steps, go back up the stairs, through the door, turn left, and then circle the way around clockwise. Be careful of those two people. You don't have to go as fast as I'm doing it right here. Okay, I'm, again, I'm just trying to get through this as fast as possible. I'm going to crouch run through the section, activate the remote control, and then uh, come over to this little room and destroy the evidence. Now when we've activated that remote control, the guy's going to go a little bit crazy. He's going to go into the room where we need need to go. Uh, this guy sort of, sort of spot me, spotted me there, so I had to quickly dive out of the way. So I just crouch run into this little room. This is the best place to hide and just wait. Because the guy is eventually going to go into the room on our left, where the actual heart is, where we need to kill sodas. And it's, an ex it's, it's extremely easy. Uh, when you do it all through all this technique, uh, the Silent Ninja, I expected it to be a little bit more difficult than this, but it turned out to be quite simple, really. It actually turned out to be a lot faster than my Silent Assassin suit only video as well. But it's just me getting to grips with the map now. As soon as those bodyguards leave, immediately jump into this room, and then you'll be able to get this guy, no problem. Subdue him, and just stick him in the closet. And then we're going to... Go up to this machine, push triangle to go and, and crush the heart and kill it and whatever. And that will take care of sodas. Now if you couldn't get in the room fast enough, just uh, decrease the medicine on that uh, that trigger. So just push R2 again and uh, the guy will come out of the room. Reactivate it again and he will go back in. Just follow closely behind and you'll be able to get back into the room. Now once we've done that, we're going to crouch run all the way through up here and then through this door and we're going to run all the way down the bottom of the mountain and we need to climb the pipe to our right. We don't need to worry about the cameras anymore because we've already taken them out. We're just going to wait for these guards to uh, move out all the way and then we can climb up the pipe safely. And then we can climb into the window there's a garden at the outside is just slightly spots so you need to use your instinct there and time that better than I just did. And then once we're in this steam room right here, we're just going to turn up the temperature gauge and then just wait. These guys will uh, leave the steam room and this is where our target is going to come inside. And then what we're going to do is just lock her in. And that's going to suffocate her and that'll take care of the second target. So here she comes, she's going to go in by herself as well. Now you could take her out while using the sword, or you could just go uh, and do what I do. What I do. Uh, this is take care of another assassination challenge as well. I'm not actually going to uh, include it in the description or anything, because I'm going to cover it in a separate video. You can't really follow it properly if you want to do the individual challenge. It's exactly why I didn't uh, include uh, the name of it in the description or anything like that. So we've just got to lock her in, but to do that you need to drop your sword because otherwise you, you need to do this with two hands and uh, she will suffocate in there 
and that will take care of the second target. And we're going to use the scrambler for the final time on the door we just came through. And there we go. And I'm going to go th back through the window where we climbed up from. And we're going to use the snowmobiles at the bottom of uh, the pipe. There you go. You've just seen it there and it's just a glimpse of it. And then we'll just uh, ride away. And that will take care of the silent ninja challenge of Hokkaido. It would be really, really cool if they uh, could actually include this outfit on all maps. And you could go through all the maps and doing this. This would be incredible. I'd love to do that. That would be so much fun. But what you're about to see is just a bunch of challenges that I've completed. And I haven't actually finished the levels when I've completed these challenges. This is the reason why they're popping up now. But uh, just to show you that uh, all the challenges do save. It doesn't matter if you quit out or anything like that. They do eventually pop. They pop up anyway. So they, they do automatically, automatically save. That's why they're all popping up now for me. But this will get you the Sonic Ninja Challenge completed. So that's going to do it for this video. So thank you very much for watching. Be sure to hit a like on this video if it helps you out. And subscribe here if you are new to the channel. And uh, for more challenges coming up soon. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Cheers.